2,000 years later. Hey, what is going on guys? It's Tech Genie here. Um, and today I'm going to bring you a new video on my uh, top 5 uh, thoughts and uh, views on Android Lollipop. So, let's check them out. Okay guys, so I mentioned that there are five features. Uh, stick around until the end because this one you're going to want to know. It's quite a cool thing, it's subtle and not many people know about this. Um, so stick around for that, don't leave. Okay, so my first feature I want to talk to you about is the whole new idea of their lock screen and how they've sorted it out and laid this out. So if I show you here on the lock screen, what I've got now is I've currently got a notification up there. If I were to pull down, it folds up and it shows you all of my notifications on my phone. Um, and obviously if I had more notifications, more of them would be shown here. And when you're on your lock screen, I'll just show you quickly, um, if I've got about 10 notifications, they all stack on top of each other and then you can scroll through them. So a quick way of just looking at them is pulling it down and it shows you all of them and it has the whole length of the screen. So that's a nice feature. Um, another good thing is you've got here, you can just either remove all of them or just remove separate ones by sliding it off and it sort of fades off. So everything's done really nicely and professionally. I'm just going to show you a quick example of another thing to do with notifications and the whole idea of the lock screen and how the phone goes about this. Okay, so the first thing you notice here uh, when you get a new text is that your display sort of shines in a black and white colour. So this is a quick uh, thing that you notice is the fact that what this, uh, the effect this has on your phone. So obviously you can see it's now blinking with my notifications. Uh, what this does by having it in black and white, it uses less power. But the great thing is it notifies you every 10 seconds or so that you have a, um, a new notification. So if I just turn the phone on now, by just touching it when it turns on. So you can see, um, if you can see closely, you can uh, see the text here. Uh, Yoda's texted us, hurrah. <laughs> um, so yeah, you can just uh, read the text and then you can pull down and you get the load new, uh, a load of new settings. You can, uh, options you can press. So I can reply to the text. I can say I've read the text, so I can mark it red so it no longer shows my notifications. Quickly pull my phone out of my pocket and I'm not interested and I don't care what Yoda's saying. Um, I can just say, yeah, I've read. Alternatively, I can call Yoda. Um, so if I just press red right now, so it just goes away and disappears. So feature two. Uh, this feature is sort of less to do with the uh, stock Android that you'd get on your phone um, and more to do with how CyanogenMod operates. Uh, so you may have noticed if you've rooted your phone and you've got a custom mod running, uh, you may have noticed you can uh, change a load of stuff on your phone. And this is one of the main reasons people root their phones, is so they can install the latest version of Android. Um, if you haven't done this, I will leave a link in the description and probably uh, sort of here somewhere. Uh, so if you just click on that, go and view my uh, video on how to root your phone and install Lollipop on any phone. Um, that would be a tremendous help and also it would be greatly useful for you. Uh, if you have any other videos such as how to root your phone, uh, do let us know, send us an email and we'll do our best to do a, a video on that. But in the meantime I want to talk to you about uh, CyanogenMod and how it uh, provides a great user experience. So if I open up settings um, and I go down here, so I'm in settings now, you can see there's a whole new layout and everything looks a lot cleaner. Um, but if I go into themes, um, you can set different themes. So I can have the uh, custom one, uh, system default, obviously. Um, Euphora Dark theme, I don't know if that's pronounced right. Uh, and then there's loads of different ones. Holified, that's sort of, I guess that's more like the Kit Kat sort of style. It doesn't change a lot to do with the um, notifications bar, so I'm not going to show you that. Um, I can do this one uh, here, Material Glass, and that just changed everything completely transparent. Uh, it depends what floats your boat, to be honest. Um, however cheesy that may sound. Um, so, yeah, it depends what your personal preference is and I personally like the material look. So if I wanted to change things up and say, you know what, today I'm going to go red because red's a great colour, probably my favourite colour. So if I just, uh, if you see what I did there, I just selected, um, so these are the ones I've applied, uh, status bar, style, and my icons. Um, so I have changed the way all my things look. So you can now see everything is red. Um, and by the look of it, so is the background for some weird reason. Um, so yeah, my notification bar and that is all red. So if I pull down my notification bar, you'll now notice that it's now black with red. 
Um, so obviously everything's changed red for the observant ones of you, um, and the less observant who didn't notice that. So if I just uh, adjust the uh, brightness, you can see again, it's in red. So yeah, that's just another nice feature. Okay, so then guys, just a quick new feature here is uh, just to show you how the themes change things. If I go into um, Google Play Store, you can see it's now possessed. Everything has got possessed. Yeah, so everything's um, turned red, uh, which is actually pretty cool. And the background's black. So if I just search for uh, Google Now Launcher, for example, I want to install that. Who doesn't want Google Now? Um, everything is red, and it's all changed the whole color. And this bar going across is red, so it changes everything um, within, uh, changes things within apps itself, which is a great thing. Uh, so yeah, they're not going to let you watch this download because that's not the most fascinating thing to do. Two thousand years later. Okay, so on to number three. Okay, guys, this is the third uh, feature of Android Lollipop that I'm going to share with you. Um, what I've done is I've gone ahead and installed uh, Google Now Launcher. I had it installed before, um, and it is, in my opinion, the best stock Android um, launcher that you can install. Um, and it just brings everything to look like Lollipop. If you notice here, I've got the um, search bar um, and all of that. So um, that's all the same. But if I scroll to the left, I now have Google Now. Um, and it's going to be 45 degrees. That must be wrong. Um, <laughs> I live in England, man. It can't be that warm. Um, and then, yeah, it's got all these new cards you can swipe by to get rid of them. And then a great new thing is you can undo. Anyway, I've done, um, or I will do, sorry, uh, a video on Google Now and how that works. This is just a quick thing about Google. Um, everything works really smoothly and it's brilliant. But what I want to talk to you about here is multitasking. So if I go, uh, hold on, my home button, onto multitasking, he says, um, everything is completely changed. So if you remember in KitKat, um, you had uh, all the things running up on the right hand side and then it was all, I have to say in my opinion, did look quite smart. Uh, I'm not sure if I prefer this style in Lollipop. Um, I do like it. Uh, I still think though that I did like them all a bit smaller and all in to the left a bit more, not all this space around them. It looks a bit weird, they're kind of hanging in the void. Um, but yeah, the nice thing about this is it shows you the whole screen um, of what's going on. So you can just slide to get rid of it. Oh, Christ. Hang on a second. So yeah, you can just slide to get rid of it. Um, you can scroll through them, and then again you've got the get rid of them all thing up here. And yeah, if you just look there quickly, I'll open a new thing again. Everything slides up. Uh, and if I get rid of them all, if you watch closely, they all disappear. I can look cards. That is our third feature of Android Lollipop. Okay, so this is the uh, fourth feature. Sorry, fourth feature of Android Lollipop that I want to talk to you about. And that is the whole idea of notifications and do not disturb. Does that remind you of anything? I reckon that came from Apple. Anyway, what Android have now done is they've implemented this within Android. Um, which is a great thing, so if you're sitting there doing work, uh, I find it's great useful when I'm doing work, actually I don't have my phone with me when I'm working, but if I do, uh, I can just hold down, so uh, turn the volume down, and you can see here I can put priority on, um, and obviously I can go into settings and then priority interruption so I can just uh, choose which ones they are. So I can say calls and messages can't come through, um, events and reminders I'm allowed, will allow to come through, um, so that's a great new feature. So then again, it says, oh, "Look, there's a little star." I wonder what that means. It's probably oh, I've got favorites. That'll be it. Favorites. Um, so, <laughs> so yeah. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah. If I turn the volume down, I can then change. Uh, so priority, and that'll be on indefinitely. So forever. For two thousand years. Yeah. Until the end of time, I will get no messages, texts, or whatever, because nobody ever talks to me. No, just joking. Um, so yeah, I can change it to indefinitely, or I can say uh, for one hour, two hours, three hours, four hours, 600 hours, however many hours you want. Um, and that's a great thing, so you say I'm going to be working for three hours, so nobody texts me for three hours. Um, I don't use it that much. Uh, but again, you can say none. I don't want anything to come through. 
I don't, for some weird reason, want to know any reminders. I don't want to know... I don't know anything. I don't even know if I want, want to know if there's going to be an apocalypse, right? That's what you put none on for. Um, and look, it says no interruptions. Uh, so yeah, that's a great new thing, and it's really useful. Uh, and again, it just shows you up here. You have... You are in... Incognito mode. Okay, so that is the fourth feature. Uh, we're going to get onto the fifth feature, uh, and you're going to want to watch this one. This one's quite a cool one. Okay, so the moment we've all been waiting for, number five. Okay, so if I show you, this is going to be very quick and short. Um, we've gone through all the animations, the nice transitions, and I spoke to you at the beginning how I like how uh, the attention to detail um, the Google has gone through, so with all, all the folders, the way it opens, and it all comes out the folder, and it all comes from somewhere, they've all got their own little animations. What I didn't mention is this. I don't know how well you can see this, but if I turn this screen off, you can see it goes black and white. What I'll do is I'll slow this video down for you later. Um, if I just turn the brightness up, and now I turn the phone off, it goes black and white before it turns off. And it's just a nice little thing. It's one of those things that just think, yeah, that's complete. They've done it really well. They've done a good job. Um, and I've not felt that um, with all the other older versions. I did like KitKat. KitKat's probably my favourite um, up until Android Lollipop came out. And they have just done a brilliant job with Android Lollipop. So if you are wondering how it performs on this phone, uh, leave a message down below. I know I did say I was going to talk about that in this video, but I just simply don't have much time. Uh, so I'll do another video on that if that's what you guys want. Um, uh, so yeah, cheers guys for watching this video. It really helps us out if you go and check out our other, other videos. We've got stuff on routing, how to get Android on any phone. Um, look, we've even got Yoda text us. Give us a like for Yoda. If you like Yoda texting us, give us a like. Um, subscribe and yeah, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Oh look, turn back on. Witchcraft. See you guys.